Right into it. Welcome to Crashing with Friends, episode what, Connor? Kyle? Episode what? What, Connor? Kyle? <laughs> Jackson Kalen. <Kayla, you> should... <laughs> what? You one thirty-five up in this bitch? One thirty-five. Yes. One thirty-five. Man, uh, I'm the host, Jackson Brandon. That's Kyle, Con, <laughs> Caleb. <laughs> Yeah, let's go ahead and just bust right into it. Bust right in. Bust. Yeah. Bust, bust it. Bust it. Bust it. Bust right into it. Kyle, let's start with you. How's your week going, bros? Good, man. I've been uh, checking out some media. Some media? Whoa. Mm, yeah. New content. Oh. Mm-hmm. oh. I watched that uh, Late Night with the Devil. Ooh. Oh. That Devil. Let's, let's talk about it. I watched it, too. It was really good, man. It was pretty twisted. Yeah, bro. I gave it like a, a solid 8 out of 10. Uh, that's probably where I would put it too. You know what could have given it a ten out of ten? What? If they would have just added some commercials in the commercial breaks, you know, I would have loved to see just like between like random chaos that you see. Mm. All of, when they cut to commercial, like I want to see the commercial, like this the juxtaposition of like the extreme horror or that. Yeah, sorry for hitting the mic stand there. <laughs> the extreme horror of like someone's like back being broken or something like that, you know, like, you know, possession type shit. And then all of a sudden they cut the commercial and then it's like mac and cheese. We got a mac and cheese commercial for craft or something like that. <laughs> okay. Or like more themed towards yeah that late night with the devil or whatever. Or just like, more, just like 70s commercials in general, man. Because it was um, all set up in the 70s, so. Yeah. Mm-hmm. It, like, I felt like they get... They, they missed a couple marks where they could have added some more 70s nostalgia to it. And you could also tell that, like, the effect that they were adding to it whenever it was, like, you know, the actual show. You could tell that that's just, like, it's very digital what they were doing. It's not an actual effect. I don't know. Mm-hmm. I don't know. You get what I'm trying to say, Kyle? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I got you. <laughs> it doesn't feel genuine the effect that they're putting on, but yeah. So like, it's not actually shot on like film. It's like shot on digital. Is what you're saying? Yeah, it's, it's shot on digital. Then it's all, everything is filtered to make yeah. it look 70s. Gotcha. I would have preferred if they just like, yo, just grab a VHS. Yeah, there's gonna like, be a camera. couple of them somewhere. You know, the store. But, it's now that you're saying it, I can see it, but watching it, I didn't notice it at all and it didn't stumble upon it at all. It wasn't even something I noticed until now that you're saying it. But I feel you. Yeah. yeah. I get what I'm you're saying. I'm still giving it an 8 out of 10. I loved it. Right. That's what's, <laughs> yeah, that's, yeah, I, okay. I'm right. just saying, like, this is what it could have done to make it right. a 10 out of 10. It would have been cool to see, the, like, the film burn up or something. Oh. That's good. Mm-hmm. I haven't even watched the movie, but I can just tell you. <laughs> That would have been cool. Yeah, it, it could have worked. It could have worked. Um, for me, what would because I I would give it probably an eight out of ten as well. But what would have gave it me more giddies was them giddies good. Them giddies would have been better if <laughs> there would have been more of the girl do like okay. Oh, You're talking about like th- there's a moment where there's like five minutes of absolute craziness. If they could have made that twenty minutes of craziness, uh. yeah, give me more of give me more of the hallway scene in oh. the newest Evil Dead movie, Evil Dead Rise. I want give me more of that kind of shit because there was a point where it turned and it was like, oh fuck yeah, dude. Mm-hmm. And when it turns and she goes full like possessed mode, it was like, oh. oh it's like fuck yeah, dude. Whenever, like, yeah, whenever it finally kicks in the high gear, you're like, yes, yes. Like this is what I fucking wanted. Like, yeah, this is what we watched for. <laughs> I want to watch it now. Damn, it's good. Like, yeah. I'm not joking. It's fucking good. It's worth a watch, man. It's yeah. like, don't let us like, because I actually enjoyed. I enjoyed it quite a lot. Um, but I would have liked more of the demonic possession. But yeah. Even though she wasn't on screen, you could feel her fingerprints throughout the whole entire production of the show when they're actually filming it. Certain certain things start happening, and it's like, wait, this is not right. You know what I'm oh. saying? 
Um, when she actually, sh- when she, the little girl shows up, there's just a couple scenes where she kind of takes on the voice or of the main guy's wife that's dead, and it's mm. just, it's just weird, man. It's just really yeah. cool and weird. And, yeah. Uh, uh, if you've seen uh, the movie, is it? Yeah, it's Megan, the new. Oh yeah, yeah. I got some Megan vibes from her when she's in her like I'm just a normal girl yeah, kind yeah. of mode, you know? Because there's a lot of. That <laughs> Can you guys hear my stomach? Sorry, I, I thought it was. I didn't know if it was yours or mine. Up here. <laughs> no. Hold up. But keep talking. We'll get one. Yeah, we'll get one. It's probably gonna stop now that I've acknowledged it. But. The boy who cried wolf. Uh, yeah, for real. But uh, yeah. I, Big uh, two thumbs way up, you know, <laughs> way up, way Kyle up there, Jackson way up give there. It two thumbs way up. Uh, other than that, man, I've been watching that uh, X Men '97. Nice. Mm. I didn't know if I was going to really dig it, but uh, I watched all of the regular X Men what season ones one through five. Did all that shit just so I get caught up. The last season is like eh. It's it's a eh, and it's the it's the animation quality is not very good. You can tell they that right. they wanted to end it on season four. You yeah. know, one through four is what you should watch mm. for sure. Right, but uh, even still, w- this new show, it's like they took it's like they took the baton from the old show and just kept running. Nice, it's so good, man. Some of the character development you get from that old show is just amplified now in this new show. Stuff with Scott and Gene and their bait, like them having a baby, and it's just like them. It's, it's all the sinister shit and like fucking Mister Sinister, Mister Sinister. Yeah, yes. like his fingerprints are just all over the show, just like always. Wolverine. And like Wolverine. Um, to see the the thing about the seasons one through four, one through five. They focused a lot on Wolverine. Right. This new show, they've kind of stepped back and focused on all the X-Men. Oh, uh, uh, okay. That's cool. Which but is he's cool. still on the show, right? He's still there. Okay. <laughs> but uh, you don't get, like, tons of tons of Wolverine. Mm. Which, because I think we're going to get tons of Wolverine and Deadpool Wolverine. So they, I think they're mm-hmm. just, like, realizing we don't have yeah. to. Let's give them the rest of the X-Men. Yeah. yeah. There's some really cool shit with, like, Storm and Magneto and Rogue and Gambit, especially Gambit. If you like Gambit, watch this show. There's some crazy shit with Gambit, um, Genosha, like, all this cool X-Men shit. Like, if you really, really like X-Men, watch X-Men 97. I can't recommend it enough. Yeah. It's not done. There's a couple episodes left. Nice. And there's parts where I was like, fuck me, dude. I cannot believe them. Like, I can't believe they're doing this with X-Men right now. This is crazy. I, lo- I love it. Uh, other than that, carpet, uh, shampoo in my carpets, dude. Mm. That's been my thing. This whole weekend, uh, I decided I was going to shampoo the carpets. I was going to be dad mode. Every, like, the last couple weekends, I'd just been getting stuff done. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Next weekend's gutters. Ooh, I'm not looking forward to that. <laughs> but, uh... Shampoo in those carpets, man. There were spots where there was like pieces of candy, nice ground into the floor. Like you saved like, them too, right? Of course. Okay. Yeah. No, like uh, milk duds and mm. like freaking mm. um, what's uh, junior mints? I was thinking of uh, oh, yeah. Seinfeld for a second, but there was like junior mints ground into the floor. Uh-huh. Yeah, yeah, dude. Yeah, yeah dude. <laughs> but uh, me and my wife, man. She she got those freaking some of those candies out that I was like I don't know how you did that man mm. there was some nail polish on the floor now and she got that out too nice man it and then once she got all those stains out I just went went shampoo crazy yeah you know yeah got it out our sh- our floor upstairs looks pretty damn good like it's brand new you yeah. give it the old like just scrubbing with your hand technique or did you have no, like no she a- got out a freaking um a razor blade scraper yeah and she just. Went at it from different angles and just kind of like did some different shit and she got it up, dude. And you can't even tell it was anything in there. All these little spots. She's a beast, man. Nice. My, my wife, Rachel. I'm talking about you. Whenever you were uh, going to shampoo it, did you? Like, oh, no, dude. Uh, you had one, like of a, our, one of the machines that just goes. Zzz. One of our friends gave us like a pet one. It was like a Hoover, uh, like shampoo, but for pet hair and stuff like that. Mm-hmm. And when I got it, dude, it was, I thought it was broken. <clears throat> Because I was trying to vac, I was trying to do this carpet that we're that we're on right now. 
Um, and it wasn't getting any water up. So I was like, fuck, man. I started taking it apart and realized there was dog hair in like every yeah. crevice, every orifice, every vacuum seal, every everything. So I was like, fuck, man. You guys know I I'm, love animals. Yeah. <laughs> so I took that shit apart, man. It's like Friday night, it took me like at least an hour and a half watching basketball and doing it at the same time. But dude, it was crazy, man. I got so much dog hair. I think now it looks brand new, dude. Like his shop floor new. It's so nice. 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 But uh, yeah, once I did that, it worked like a dream. And now I've got good carpets, guys. Yeah, it's brand new up there. Yeah, man. Ooh. Yeah. If you guys want to go out there and just lay down with me a little bit, like some angels, yeah, like like some carpet angels, (laughs) carpet angels, yeah, yeah. Yeah. (laughs) I might scoot my butt across. Yeah, (laughs) fuck yeah, dude. Just like when you were a kid and you didn't want to take a shit. (laughs) (laughs) At the age of six, couldn't take shits. Yeah, Connor, how's your week going? Uh, It's good. Um, beginning of the week was all right, but, uh, I got my electric scooter Friday when I was on lunch. Zoom, zoom. Yeah. Pretty cool. Um, didn't know if I was going to ride it this weekend because of all the rain, but Mm. Saturday there was, uh, just a lot of wind. So I I took it out. I got like some pads and a helmet and stuff like that. Cause you know, going 30 miles an hour, it does scare you. Yeah. You know, being on yeah. that scooter. Mm-hmm. Uh, but I got to say, it's like, it's not like riding a skateboard because like you kind of like turn with your feet in a lot of ways. Um, so it's, it's pretty cool, but it's got the acceleration of like, you know, something three or four times as fast as a skateboard, <laughs> you know, um, just like on flat ground. But like going against the headwind, I could only get up to like maybe 26, 27 against a 30 mile an hour headwind, you know. Yeah. Um, so there are some limitations, but yeah, just like going with the wind, yeah, I could easily get up to 30, no problem. Um, so pretty fun riding it. Um, excited to, you know, do that this summer. Um, finish Shogun. That was really good. Um, I really enjoyed it. I give it probably like an eight as well. Um, nice. you know, I thought there was going to be a little bit more action than there was. Uh, but aside from that, it was kind of like a miniature Game of Thrones with how much like um, backstabbing kind of is going uh-huh. on, you know, yeah. and the fact that there is like a bunch of different parties, but it mainly does focus on like this one dude and his translator and their love story, more mm-hmm. or less. Uh, so that's pretty interesting. But um, yeah, it was a really good show. Interested to see if they're like going to like go with the season two or not or just end it there. But Overall, I really enjoyed it. Um, yeah, I've been playing games, um, mainly just Destiny 2 lately. Nice. Um, trying to get the uh, Super Black Shader and then some guns, uh, getting ready for the new uh, Final Shape, which actually is looking really good. I don't know if any of you guys have seen anything on it, Mm-mm. but it actually does look pretty dang good. There's like a new enemy type. A lot of uh, cool stuff. They're going to make a new subclass where you can do light and dark abilities at the same time. Hmm. So you can like fuse like the ice abilities and the, the fire and make hot and cold. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> um, but yeah, it, it should be interesting. Um, the, thing about, <clears throat> the thing about Destiny, every time you get back in, it's like, oh, I forget. This game plays like a dream. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And they're doing a lot of quality of life stuff. They're undoing all the... Uh, like, I don't know if you guys remember, but they, like, sunset a lot of weapons and stuff. They're undoing that. They're making it to where um, whenever you play with your friends, like, no matter if, like, you're playing with someone who's brand new or not, like, there's going to be, like, a, a power leader where, you know, you join with your friend, you're automatically powered up to their level. Uh, um, yeah. it, it'll make content easier if everyone's, like, underpowered <laughs> and stuff. Um, there's, like, a lot of other updates that they're doing, but they're making it really easy to get into the game. <laughs> And also just, like, quality of life stuff that people have wanted for a long time, you know. They've increased a lot of the caps on, like, money and, like, you know, all the stuff that you can have in-game, like Glimmer and all that kind of stuff. That's good. Um, But, yeah. Just give me a reason to get back in. Well, Into the Light dropped, and it's a free content update for everybody who just has Destiny 2. And that's how you get the super black shader, which everybody's wanted for a long time, just uh, all black shader. 
And <laughs> so <laughs> stupid. It's like, but yeah, it's like they finally put it in the game and you can earn it through this free update. And the update is like a uh, horde mode, a 50 wave horde mode. And like the whole thing is also getting this arsenal of guns so you're ready for the final shape when it rolls around. So it's pretty cool. That is pretty cool. A lot of like classic guns throughout Destiny 2 that are also given like new roles that are what people call god roles. Yeah. You know, um, very very cool stuff to get, get into the game right now. And like I said, it's free if you own Destiny 2. So um, yeah, definitely check it out if you want to. Yeah. I do miss playing Destiny. That's that's one of my favorite games that mm-hmm. I've played. It's crazy. And the Horde mode is pretty cool because it, it's like, kind of like a, a defense where you can buy turrets, you can buy decoys and, like, tripwires. And, like, the whole time you're killing guys, you're getting, like, what they call scraps, with like, the currency. So it, oh. it's a pretty cool mode. And it's going to be, like, a core mode moving on, like, moving forward. So uh be interesting to see where they go with that. But Nice. Yeah, check it out. Oh man! So uh, I've noticed in Joplin um, Saturday nights instead of people driving their cars down the street, it's a bunch of like ele- uh, electric scooters. Are you going to be part of that gang? I didn't know about it, but I did think about it because mm-hmm. like uh, one of my plans this year was uh, when July Fourth rolls around. Yeah. At night when all the fireworks yeah. are going yeah. off, I'll be rolling on my scooter. Be like, <laughs> I'll be looking up going, <laughs> and then I'm going to wreck. That'll be the time I wreck for sure. Um, but yeah. Uh, Definitely gonna be night cruising a Hell lot. Yeah. yeah. Hell yeah. Yeah. That's awesome. It, my my uh, scooter comes with like a headlight, and it's also got like these two lights on the side of the deck that also pop oh. out where oh. you, it's got a little switch. But yeah. I'm gonna get like a brighter headlight for the top of it as well, like a separate rechargeable one. That way, yeah. I'm just like pushing that light out. Yeah. Um, <laughs> yeah. Because when you're going 30 miles an hour, man, you have gotta see pretty far ahead. You know. Last yeah. thing you want to Absolutely. hit is an armadillo. Yeah, Armadillo, <laughs> yeah. Or deer, man. For real. Or deer. <laughs> <laughs> Thing just hops up. Bang. Oh. Yeah. The deer will survive. Yeah, the deer will be all right. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I'm, I'm going to be doing a lot of night rides, probably by myself, because I don't see, like, I, you know, scooter squads out there, but mm. they don't ride as often as I'm going to be riding, as far yeah. as I know, because, like, I'm, I'm right here. Yeah. You know? In Joplin. Plus, you know, yeah. you, you don't know if there's like an initiation to get into that that and what that consists of. So, yeah. you know, you got to protect yourself first, yeah. you know, yeah. before before you join one of them, one of them street gangs mm-hmm. of, of electric scooters. Yeah. And the thing is, like, um, Tony Hawk made looking like wearing a helmet looking cool, you know, like the, the black helmet. I bought a helmet and I look like a dork wearing that thing. <laughs> Nobody dude. likes their helmets, man. Yeah. It's fine. It's fine. My, my motorcycle helmet makes me look like I have a giant wiener on my head. So, yeah. you know, it's but I still wear it. So well, I'm going to get a motorcycle helmet eventually. Yeah. Something that looks cool. I'm cool. With the, I'm cool. With the dickhead thing. But um, <laughs> just looking like a weirdo, man. With a bi- It's not a bicycle. I guess it is a bicycle helmet, but it's like shaped like a skateboard helmet. You know what I'm saying? Saying, like a yeah. skateboard helmet, uh, yeah. still look like a dork, man. Like if it was like fifty percent <clears throat> smaller, I think that's the thing. It's just too big. Yeah, you know. Yeah, I want to go bigger, fifty percent bigger. You know, the I want to. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah. Fuck yeah, <laughs> man! I saw. I got something. the helmet for you, man. <laughs> house, man. Speaking of big head thing, I saw the, <laughs> the NFL is. I think it let the players wear those freaking giant padded things. guardian caps. Yeah, guardian caps like during the season now. <laughs> Yeah, it's crazy, dude. They're gonna let them wear the guardian cap during the regular season. Mm-hmm. Yeah, but here's the thing: they've also rated like three or four helmets to have equal to greater protection than the guardian cap. So mm. what you could do is wear one of those helmets and not even have to worry about the guardian cap. But if you want to use another helmet, you can also use that with the guardian cap if you want. Or use gotcha. the new helmet and the guardian cap. Yeah, you could, <laughs> but I don't think there would be any reason to do that. Mm-hmm. Can you also wear bubble wrap as well? You know, like in between the layers of different different helmets and guardian caps. I don't know what it is, but like I want to see something like that. <laughs> like it is big head mode when they got guardian <laughs> caps on, dude. Like, for like just, just tell just me, wrap a pillow cushion to their head. Just, you just know? tell me when when to stop as as far as big it, it goes. Boom, right there. Yeah. <laughs> oh my god, yeah. Yeah. I can fit two heads in here. Yeah. They're insane, it's, dude. Because those helmets are big, man. Yeah. The helmets are big already, and they yeah. put a, like a like a that much padding uh, on top of that. Like it's it's huge, man. They're getting no concussions. Like Straight up look like juggernaut. <laughs> <laughs> it's crazy, dude. 
I hope everybody starts wearing a man. Like I want to start wearing one. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> a cool thing. Like man, I just don't like, especially when you're running through like the slot. Like that thing's got to be a deterrent somehow. It's got to fuck you up somehow. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Uh, you think mainly linemen would probably be the ones using right, them. Yeah, you know? Right, it makes sense. It yeah. makes sense. Yeah, and you also got to remember at the same time, you still are not supposed to lead with your helmet during any kind of tackles or anything like that. Right, so, right. Yeah, 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 so yeah, yeah. Technically, you're not supposed to be using it as a weapon. Because, <laughs> just because you have it now doesn't mean it's like, all right, we're using the heads again, boys. Weaponized safety, I love it. <laughs> heads are back on the menu. <laughs> <clears throat> Caleb, how's your week been going, man? Uh, pretty good. Uh, pretty good. Um, let's see. Uh, man, I drove by your old plot of land out there on Moffat or Byers or whatever it was, Joplin. Joplin Avenue? Yeah, yeah. your old little plot. Yeah. yeah. It's wild, isn't it? <laughs> you know, it's uh, still there? Yeah, the, the, lot, the, the lot is still there. Just, the house uh, is gone? The <laughs> house is gone. <laughs> it's wild going by there, how things have changed over the years. Um, <clears throat> yeah, not too bad. Uh, you were a slumlord at one point, right? Uh, yeah, yeah, once once a slumlord, <laughs> always a slumlord, by the way. You know, I just live that lifestyle. Uh, oh, I, uh, I go around just promising everybody that I'll fix their stuff and never fix it. Uh, Dude, that house, man. I walked in there one time with you, I was like, Damn! Yeah, I can't believe people are living in this fucking place. <laughs> <laughs> it was crazy. I saw like a little rat family in the corner, and they looked like they were having trouble too. <laughs> <laughs> they were looking up like, "Where are you going for fixing shit?" <laughs> <laughs> they had like a little like pot. They had like, a little fire, and it was rocking back and forth. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> they had fingerless gloves around the the burn barrel. You know, <clears throat> just trying to stay warm. Fuck! I just <laughs> got the image of the Family Guy. <laughs> Episode like where they make Mickey and Minnie Mouse and like he's like all right Minnie show us the goods. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah they uh, uh, definitely mice definitely froze in that house. <laughs> uh, that's yeah. Um, anyways, uh, I got to do bed and it vibrates. I'm really excited to share that with you guys because it vibrates. It does the it does the knee with the head and the the feet and like oh, wow yeah. So like I can just feel like the bed is like hugging me into a natural perfect uh uh feeling but it vibrates and uh no more ceiling fan on i don't have to have the fan on i don't have to have it like drying out my throat because i sleep with my mouth open um but it uh it's it's wonderful it's wonderful it's uh it's only like 2700 dollars too um for a, a mattress out of web city because they have that forever bed mattress uh, factory there so it's like super cheap if you buy local and then uh, the frame was, I think, most of that cost. But, you know, like, who doesn't want a vibrating bed? I feel like I'm in a cheap hotel every night, you know? Put the quarter in the thing. and It's <laughs> phenomenal. I recommend a vibrating bed for everybody. No more sleep problems. Um, do you vibrate it all night or do you just, like, for a little? 30, 30 minutes. minutes? Yeah. yeah, 30 minutes. Because um, it, really it takes, like, five minutes for me to fall asleep in that vibrate. Like, like, five minutes every time. Even if I just, like, lay down for a second after I get off work, if I put it on, I'm like... <laughs> <laughs> you know? uh, I don't snore anymore with it either. Um, uh, you know, I could definitely, you know, I might snore a little bit, but I don't feel that, 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 uh, it's, you know, like all night snoring, bad throat feeling. Uh, I don't know if you guys snore or not, but, uh, I can always tell when I snore because my throat's all, uh, but, uh, but yeah, anyways, <laughs> uh, fantastic, fantastic, fantastic bed. Um, wow. other than that, that's uh, an investment. It is, it is. I mean, you spend, you know, almost half your life in the bed, so you might as well, you know, uh, make sure it's it's good and uh, magic uh, vibrating fingers uh, crawling up and down my 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 feet. My head is is what does it for me, guys. Uh, <laughs> magic fingers. It does. I mean, it makes a way cooler sound than that, but you sure know. does, man. <laughs> I think you're dumb because you could have just paid me five hundred to come over. <laughs> <laughs> you're right. You're right. I should have thought of that first. That is my fault. I'm well, sorry, Jack. I mean, you think about yeah. it, ten bucks a night. I think that ends up like ah, that's cheaper than that. It'll only be three hundred sixty-five dollars or something like that. <laughs> Whoa. Whatever it's called. Ten bucks a night. That's all I want. <laughs> ten bucks a night for each service. Even even though it takes only five minutes for me to fall asleep, you have to stay the whole thirty minutes though. I'll sleep. Yeah. For you, that'd be like 
The, the first five minutes is for you. The set, the twenty five <laughs> minutes is for me. <laughs> Oh, that's fantastic. Uh, 3650 for a year. Oh, well, if you're going mind. $10 per night. See, I was never the best math person. <laughs> Let him do his math. <laughs> Only $375. Let him do his math. Sorry, sorry. <laughs> Jackson, this is more your fucking pool. Yeah. Uh, you know, uh, living a job has been an adjustment, but... Uh, you know, it's uh, it's been it's been an okay experience so far. Uh, Where you at now? Oh, I'm thirty uh, second uh, uh, Maiden Lane, just uh, some duplexes oh, over really? there. Oh, really? Okay. Yeah. yeah, it's not too bad. Um, right by that park. Um, of uh, uh, I skipped a by lot that of school. Yeah, like right. In, yeah, yeah, right in front of that where that Ace Hardware is. There's some duplexes uh-huh. back there. Um, it's not okay. too bad. Yeah, not I drive by bad. there all the time. Yeah. Be like, go! Yeah, I'll be on the street corner. <laughs> like, I'll be searching for you. Where is he? At? He's he drives right here all the time. Uh, Rachel works right over there. I drive yeah. right over there all the time. Yeah. I'm over there too. Yeah, I'm over there. I'm going to be on both corners. <laughs> Just yelling at the traffic with the rest of the crazy people that walk down Maiden Lane. You, you want to walk into Ace Hardware with me? <laughs> I'm buying some wood. <laughs> Uh, me out on the streets looking for Kyle and Connor. <laughs> yeah, dude, we'll be there. I'll be there at about three forty ish every oh, day. Okay, yeah. and uh, that's PM, not AM. Uh, PM. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> no, both. I'm gonna be there on both. Both. Yeah. both? Okay. Yeah. Okay. That's, that's fantastic. <laughs> Uh, God, I, I hope that happens. <laughs> <laughs> In my head, it just sounds so awesome. Like, just, like Caleb, no. go! WD-40 trip! Yes, do it! <laughs> <laughs> Oh man, uh, I've been uh, I've been trying to get back into disc golfing. This week's been a little weird. Like I said, I've uh, I got I got a little bit of food poisoning, and I say a little bit. I got a lot of bit of food poisoning. Um, I'm on the tail end of it, but uh, uh, so I've been laxing on the gym. But uh, disc golfing, I've been getting back into that. So that's pretty uh, pretty fun. I got a bag. If you want a bag, I'll take a bag. I got a bag <laughs> that's just sitting around. Yeah, and is it a good discs. bag? Yeah, it's a good bag. I got some discs too. If you want some discs, yeah. I mean, I'm, uh, yeah, I'm down for that. I'll I, get uh, you set up, dog. To, yeah. Because <laughs> right now I got a shoulder sling, and uh, that, it's okay. You know? It's not good for your back. Yeah, it's... You want yeah. a, r- a real bag? Yeah. But, yeah, I'll uh, I'll take a bag. So are you looking to play a lot, or are you just playing a little? What, uh, I want to your... play a lot. Um yeah, I want to play a lot. You know, I need more exercise. I need to, I need to, I need my 10,000 steps per day, mm-hmm. you know? Um, I don't know if you've seen the yeah. weather tomorrow. Well, I've seen the weather today. <laughs> I've seen the weather tomorrow. <laughs> uh, tomorrow, uh, I uh, I close. Um, so, okay. Tuesday, <laughs> Tuesday afternoons, uh, either uh, Wednesday, yeah, Wednesday, Wednesday uh, mornings, and uh, Sunday mornings, and then Saturday afternoons and Friday afternoons. Usually, I'm pretty good. Anyway, you know, it, it's whenever you go, just let me know, and I'll be like, yeah, yeah. or nay, yeah, and I'll yeah. try to make every single one I can. You know. <laughs> Yeah, I definitely want to play a lot this summer. You know, get my yeah. time in for sure. Yep. Uh, yeah, I'm also trying to figure out uh, some concerts to go to over the summer as well. Creed, uh, Creed's Creed. coming to <laughs> Little Rock, bro, <laughs> or Ar- Rock Rogers, Rogers, yeah, to Rogers. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. There's, there's one. Uh, uh, I don't know why it sounds so fucking awesome. I'm not even a big fan, but Pitbull and T Pain. Like like I'm a big <laughs> T Pain fan for sure, but I don't know about the Pitbull, but that sounds wonderful, this that comedy. <laughs> Mr. Three oh five, Dolly. He's Miami. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I bet uh, that'd be a pumping party. Yeah, I'm telling you. It's, uh, yeah, it's fist yeah, pumping, I mean. But yeah, that's uh for uh summer plans. That's uh, that's what I look forward to. Hmm. Nice. I also saw a slightly stupid was supposed to be playing somewhere close hmm. to here not too long from now. Wow, that sounds cool. <laughs> Mr. Collie Man? Yeah. Hey, Mr. Collie Man. Yeah. I think Hootie and the Blowfish is going to be at <laughs> <laughs> the Walmart Amphitheater. Wow. I don't even know any of a single Hootie and the Blowfish song. <laughs> You could not tell me. If you, were, if you were to put a gun to my head right now, I'd be like, name one Hootie and the Blowfish song. I'd be like, I know, I've heard of the band, man. I cannot tell you a single song. What's up on your week, Jack? Uh, man, my week's been pretty all right. Uh, 
Uh, Devil watching the movie that Kyle and I both watched that late now with the Devil movie. I also watched mm. the all of a uh, that Fallout show on Amazon. Oh yeah, yeah. Ooh, did you like it? It was fantastic, man. Like I feel like the first episode, first episode was really good. <clears throat> the second episode was pretty good. There's like I don't know. There's like one or two episodes that are kind of in the middle that are kind of like. You, you just tell we're just basically world building and not really story building too much, you know? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Just parts of the game where you're just kind of wandering around. <laughs> but, uh, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Once I got to like the final two episodes of the show, the final two episodes were probably the best of the whole show. Yeah. I'm really excited to see what the rest of the show is going to hold. But, yeah. yeah. That show really does make you feel like you're playing Fallout. You know, it's it. Yeah. They did a phenomenal job at it. Mm-hmm. You know, <clears throat> absolutely. Uh, there's certain points I'm like, you know, I've I've done that in the game. <laughs> you know, mm-hmm. <laughs> it's a really good experience. Yeah, I'm excited for uh, for the the next season, uh, whenever it comes out. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> Lucy Purnell does really good. Oh mm-hmm. yeah. Oh yeah. 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 She's fantastic. Um. Then the the goal, uh, whatever his name is, he played on Justified. He did a fantastic job. Walt, uh, Walton Goggins. Yeah, Walton Goggins. Yes, that's it. That's it. Mm-hmm. Those are fake teeth, by the way. I don't know if you knew that or not. But he's got fake teeth in uh, in his mouth. Uh, that's uh, but yeah, like uh, he had some sort of accident when he's a kid or something, and you know they they put fake teeth in him. That's why he's got you know, like perfectly straight, like all white teeth. Is not it's not his real teeth. No. I don't know if you guys knew that or not. Hmm. I felt like like I should have said that. You know, like like that felt natural to say. You know, me over explaining it's, it's, it's not feeling natural though. <laughs> no, no, that was very natural. I'm, I'm liking how wear, natural it was. Does he wear <laughs> good good? That, does yeah. he wear like dentures or something? Uh, I can't remember if it's dentures or if it's uh, the you know they put the screw in and, and the teeth in. I, I don't know. Uh, I, I know it's not natural. <laughs> You know, and if you were an actor in Hollywood, why not do that? Get those yeah. freaking screwing teeth to be like, hey, uh, that's part of my resume. I can have different teeth if you want me to. Oh, oh, <laughs> you know like, like, yeah. <laughs> but yours also unscrew and I can have crazy Spock ears if you want. I don't think it quite works like that. <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah, the little thing, yeah. Body modification, yeah. doesn't hmm. it doesn't work like that no actually no. not naturally you, you screw them in you can't just keep taking them out you know i know that <laughs> so that's my grandma she got dentures she just go she puts them in a glass every night yeah you never know Three, you might six, have five. some crazy futuristic teeth mm. thing going on mm-hmm. that us mortals don't even know about that's true yeah i'm waiting for ai to fix my teeth <laughs> I just know there's like there's things that can happen to your your gums like and also like the, you can lose bone you know density as well yeah um, that's something that I've dealt with so I mean there's a lot of things that could happen where if you you're constantly switching out your teeth it could really have a, a problem down the road yeah now that you're saying that makes, makes sense. sense yeah yeah we're gonna close out with that it's been a real crash and friends episode <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Jack, we got Kyle. I've been Connor. <laughs> Take that knowledge home. <laughs> mm. All right. Don't well. switch out your teeth. <laughs> <laughs> you, you hit it here first. But, uh, yeah, because I played the or watched the Fallout show. I've been playing the Fallout Four game again. Mm-hmm. Uh, they just added a what's it called? An update to the game, so I don't have to play that game in super shitty thirty FPS. Because huh. I wanted to play it again. I downloaded it as I, like the show came out, and then I played like the first five minutes of the game, and I was like, I can't do thirty frames per second anymore, man. Mm. Yeah. Those days are behind me. See, so, I'm not that way. I I started up Fallout New Vegas, and what got me was having to hold sprint, having to hold shift to sprint. I'm like, dude, I can't do that. <laughs> so I backed out. <laughs> That's fair. That's a good enough reason right there. Yeah. I would have been like, I'm out. Yeah, <laughs> I'm not doing that. I'm sorry. <laughs> like on a controller, it's not so bad when you have to do that with the left stick or whatever. But like on a, on a keyboard, it's like, oh, dude, this is hurting my fucking finger, dude. I'm going to break my wrist doing this. <laughs> yeah. When my hands are already this fragile, I can't be doing more of this. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. 
They're just asking too much, you know? Yeah. Just too much. I mean, I can't reassign yeah. the button to another one. No. <laughs> yeah. That's off the table. Yeah. <laughs> Surely I couldn't put it on my space bar. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> but still, I don't want to have to hold something the whole time. Yeah, it's Because I'm already having to hold W. It's ludicrous, yeah. 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 Uh, also, I downloaded a Game Boy emulator for the PC so I could play Pokemon Crystal on my PC, but at 10 times the speed... Ooh. So that way I can just beat the game in like three days. Damn, boy. Yeah. I bet you can beat it way faster than that. Yeah. How fast can you beat it, Jack? Yeah. Well, <laughs> uh, show us how fast you can beat it. <laughs> well, I beat. Um, 20 times. I beat the first half of the map. The Is it the Johto League or the Cancel League? It's one of the leagues know. or whatever. But uh, the league that you start out in. in Pokemon Crystal before you move over to the dude, side you're where you're the beating it all the time, dude. You tell us, man. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah bro. Yeah. I just I get Johto and Kanto mixed up all the time. Yeah, for good reason. Yeah. But yeah, I beat. Yeah, I got that first half of the map done in two days. Dang, that so, that is a fast beat. Every every uh, fight takes five seconds. <laughs> That's wild. <laughs> like the the biggest the biggest drawback with playing that game is just having to wait for the health bar to go down and all the stuff that you're just having to click through, you know? Why don't you set a turbo button? So, huh? Since you're in the emulator, you can set buttons to turbo, right? Turbo? Turbo. So, so, you, know uh, so you just hold down a button and it just goes... Yeah. Yeah, I didn't think about that, but... It's one of those Jodot moments again. Yeah, but still, having a lot of fun playing it. I've never played Crystal before, so it's got like a few extra things that gold and silver didn't have. Crystal is always my favorite version. Yeah, so it was my first experience with Crystal, and there's I'm already been running into things that I've never seen before in the game, so I'm like, all right. Yeah, Sue Sweden, I think is what the name of the f- legendary is in that one, right? Yeah, that one's uh, one that of my favorites. Stupid fucking name that no one knows how to pronounce. Yeah, that's how I always pronounced it. <laughs> I heard of this. Uh, I'm sure Kyle probably heard of it too. This like hack of the red one called like Radical Red or something. Where it's got like all the different um, Pokemon through all the generations on red with like old sprites and all that. Oh. And it hmm. also makes it to where all the Pokemon trainers are smart and intelligent and don't just like, like say if you swap out a Pokemon, they'll swap out their Pokemon to counter what, what you did and stuff. What? And like when you fight wild Pokemon, they'll actually use moves to kind of screw you over and like be smart about it. Um, huh. So it's like super challenging. So you might want to chill. Like, check that out. It's called Radical Red, huh? I'm pretty sure, mm-hmm. yeah. I'm sure that's on the Internet Archive somewhere. I'm yeah. sure it's... Because that's how I found uh, that that uh, that Pokemon version where it's, like, Pokemon Green, but it's... Or, I don't know. It was, like, weird Pokemon that are, shouldn't be in the game and stuff mm. like that. Do you remember hearing about that? Uh, yeah. I think it was, like, an Emerald. Yeah, it was something, with something like something. that. Yeah. But yeah, this one it's like I think it's the the classic fire version. But yeah, it's got all the Pokemon in it. That's awesome, man. Nice. Yeah. My biggest drawback with playing the game is that there's certain Pokemon that I'm never gonna be able to have because it requires that you have to trade them. Yeah. And I'm just like, dude, that's so fucking stupid. Does that I'm, game fix that? I don't know. Mm. Like my Kadabra is never going to like evolve into an Alakazam. Damn. It's like, why even so. catch it and try to evolve it and stuff? Yeah. When you know that's going to happen. Mm-hmm. Isn't that the same thing with, like, Geodude or something? Uh, yeah, I think Graveler can go to Golem. Mm-hmm. And I also, I'm starting to think that Growlithe can't go to RK9 because I've got my Growlithe up to, like, level 46, and he's he's still a Growlithe. Mm-hmm. He should have think... evolved probably by then. <clears throat> yeah. Isn't, no. isn't Machoke as well? He can't go to Machamp or something like that. Wow, really? Yeah, I, th- I think, think so. you're right. Jeez. But yeah, it's fucking stupid. They, yeah. they, they're added into the game because you can fight against them. But yeah, I mean, and obviously you can get them, but you have to trade for them and have to do all the stupid extra steps to get them. So <laughs> Haunter, Haunter can't evolve into Gengar usually without a trade. Oh my right? gosh. Something like that. Ne- I think pissed. you can get Gengar. You'll, you'll never you? complete the whole game until until you can. Yeah, man. How dare <laughs> they? That's how they made all that money, man. Yeah. Can you download another emulator and just trade with yourself? I, I don't know how it works. <laughs> I don't think I can. <laughs> run, run, two, run two different emulators. 
I don't mm. know. If- <laughs> we'll save slots. Connect them. No. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. Maybe I've, I'll just have to do some hardcore Googling later to see yeah. if there's any way I can get the Pokemon yeah. that I really want. You got There's probably Pokemon. like a file that you could just add a, a file of like this Pokemon oh, in yeah. your game or something in your save data or something. That'd yeah. be cool. Probably not. But, 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 that, cool. but that kind of like <laughs> that kind of takes the, the point away from capturing it, leveling it up, yep. and doing it all yourself. <laughs> Captured. <laughs> it's the same thing but without all the visual uh, aid yeah. <laughs> I'm just, uh, change kinda... your cursor to a pokeball <laughs> yeah. it's just like the PC system you just yeah just imagine like yeah. that yeah exactly diddly diddly you're diddly in diddly PC diddly diddly diddly. yeah, yeah. Well, anyway that's been my week <laughs> <laughs> That's crazy, man. I had a thought for you guys. If I were to, if I were to like wear some, Rachel's been watching um, The Walking Dead a lot. Like okay. trying to get through all that shit. There's a certain part towards the very end where they run across these people that are wearing like zombie faces and they're like blending in with mm. zombies and shit like that. Yep. Okay, yeah. How long would it take for you guys to realize that? If somebody else was somebody else had taken my place and was wearing my face. How long would it take for you guys to realize that? Would it be instant? I think it would be Yeah, I think it would be instant. Yeah. It would depend uh, on the manner. Yeah. Am I walking down here and I'm seeing you on the couch and then you're like, What's up, Jackson? But it's not your voice. I'd be like, You're not Kyle. But you're wearing Kyle's skin, so I'm getting the fuck out. <laughs> And, and it's it's just your face over their face. It's not like a face off situation. It's it's just your face over that. I would notice instantly. <laughs> yeah, it'd be hard not to see it. Yeah, I uh, you know I would not struggle at all with the uh, with with the uh, with it. I would run away, definitely, <laughs> definitely. Okay, what about a face off situation then? Uh, you got a particular body, so your while your face might look go a certain way, I'd be like, that ain't his body, man. <laughs> like you just said, like like just the you know big old knockers and and Kyle's face, yeah, oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah Kyle's got would... black hands. <laughs> <laughs> or you know he's two feet shorter, you know, yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. Um, yeah, I'd say it just depends, you know, if uh, if they did the uh, the whole face off transformation, you know, with the voice changing and, and the body changing and and you know Nicolas Cage and whatnot. I think I think it'd be a, a couple of seconds, but I, I'd still notice, you know. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for that thought experiment. Yeah, it was, that was wild. That was a wild ride. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Um, at the same time, <laughs> God, <laughs> at the exact same time, that this other thing is happening. <laughs> Fake Kyle is going through it today. <laughs> yeah, no, not at the same time. I also had another thought. I was doing a lot of thinking this week. Are there any smells that you guys could smell for the rest of your life? Hmm. Smells that I can smell for the rest of my life. Gasoline. <laughs> yeah, spray paint in a bag. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds pretty good. <laughs> spray paint in the bag is the best. <laughs> Almost as good as turpentine. <laughs> yeah, industrial glue, yeah, for sure. Oh, yeah. <laughs> That's a good one. That's some good stuff. <laughs> Let me tell you, Kyle, I can huff and huff all day. Yeah. <laughs> Fingernail polish from Oh, yeah, head. that's a good one. Yeah, that's a, oh, I can die in this stuff. I wonder if anybody's blended all those into one bag oh, or more oh, Lowe's man. bucket and just... <laughs> 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 Them great markers, man. Yeah. Have you guys had those smell markers, man? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, dude. Uh, 
Yeah, a good like old school Sharpie. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah, yeah. The, yeah. With the, the the silver canister ones, you know, not the plastic ones, but they had the silver on it, you mm-hmm. know, because uh, they were metal. That's how they contained all the the chemicals in it. Those are the those are the best ones. Yeah, yeah. absolutely, yeah, absolutely. <laughs> Man, I could. I would love to wake up to the smell of cinnamon rolls oh. or apple or apple pie every day. Yeah, dude, cinnamon rolls, high tier, yeah. top like oh, level man. ten. Where's the cologne that makes you smell like cinnamon rolls, <laughs> man? <laughs> yeah, cinnamon rolls, dude. Uh, I love uh, fresh cut grass, man. That's in the one. summertime, I'm the opposite. Yeah. I hate fresh cut grass. I uh. <laughs> yeah dude there's nothing like it i love it too i, I love that yeah. that pre-rain smell it's kind of earthy you know okay. um yeah. yeah like i really like that that's it's uh, like that o- ozone smell yeah. or something i don't know what the yeah. fuck's happening that's, yeah that's a good one but the the mixture of gr- uh, fresh cut grass right before it's about to rain Ooh. that mixture yeah. is just like boom this is <clears throat> summer dude like yeah this summer's is, here this is good mm-hmm. <clears throat> yeah hmm Give me some of that. Package that up. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Put in a spray can, you know? Yeah. Some aerosol for breeze, summer, mm-hmm. summer smell. Heck yeah, man. I got another food. Okay. Fajitas, man. Yeah. Fajitas oh, is such a great oh, smell, yeah. bro. When you walk into like a Mexican restaurant and someone's walk, walking past you with that fajita thing Ooh. and everything's sizzling, it's like, yeah. the smell's coming at you so hard. Oh, oh. dude, I'm here. Yeah. I want that. Yeah. <sighs> Fajitas. Uh, fresh also, garlic. like uh, a lot of that uh, food that they make at uh, ah, what's it called? Silver Dollar City. Oh yeah, yeah. That smoky smell. Like, yeah, that that gumbo shit or whatever they make yeah. it. Where is it? Where where they make it? Skillet. The skillet skillet stuff. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, the skillet stuff smells so good. Yeah, and Absolutely. it's the mixture of all that with like the black tar on the ground. <laughs> all that mixture yeah. together. It's like whoa. <laughs> It's weird. Yeah. It mixes perfectly with the uh, eighty-year-old wood that's just there. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Mm, love yeah. me some old wood. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Love me some old wood too. Yeah. Yeah. Love me some young wood. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You put wood in front of me, I'll smell it. Yeah. I'll get my nose on that. Yeah, some pine. <laughs> yeah, some uh, pine. Yeah. Smell, pine, dude. pine is mm. good. Cedar. That's another good yeah, one. Cedar's yeah, cedar's a great cedar. one. Yeah. Oh yeah. yeah, some good stuff, man. Mm. Flowers yeah. in general, dude. When there's yeah. a bunch of like flowers in someone's yard, and there's just all that smell with the grass and stuff. Yeah, mm-hmm. good stuff. That is good stuff. I've been thinking about planting flowers this year. Do it. Do it, Connor. Thinking about it. What do you got to lose? Well, I gotta like clean my yard and like get a weed eater and fill in some holes in my driveway <laughs> first. So <laughs> Oops, then after that, then I can do flowers. <laughs> <laughs> What? <laughs> you filling some holes. It was. Uh, oh, was oh, oh, excuse me. <laughs> filling some hose. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Gotta get your hose filled. Yeah. That's a good idea. Is that your stomach? Still? That was Jackson's stomach, right? That was. That was your boy. Oh, okay. <laughs> None of us are handling that Japanese steakhouse very well. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. I handle it perfect. Now, are there any smells that make you a little bit horny? Mm. Any smells that make me horny? Yeah, like mm. something like, oh shit, I could fuck that. Cinnamon <laughs> <laughs> rolls and fajitas, bro. Yeah. <laughs> if, if I walk into a kitchen and there's the smell of fajitas and a woman in there, definitely yeah. horny. Yeah. I'm not going to go horny, but another smell that I like is uh, no bit cookies. When those are mm. no baking, <laughs> it <laughs> smells really good. Yeah, yeah, that's a good one. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah. I'd say cookies in general. You know, cookies in general. That's that's a uh, that's a really good smell, especially mm-hmm. if you get like the peanut butter ones cooking, and the that's uh, you know that, that that'll get me boys. Oh yeah, <laughs> yeah, oh yeah. <laughs> Tasty smells that get me hard. <laughs> <laughs> it's the smell. I can taste your stink, Jack. <laughs> so I'm gonna say, I'm gonna say that next time I'm with a girl, I'll be like, "Yo, <laughs> I can taste your stink." <laughs> Another thought for you guys: uh-huh. What do you think the process was like when the first person created like gum, and it was like, 
I'm going to put that in my mouth. What, what do you think was going through their mind? Do, 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 do they all looked around and was like, what the fuck? You should put that in your mouth. Hmm. Oh. Let's, yeah, let's, let's just Google let's, this. Yeah. Yeah. Origins of gum, please. Before, before I just start making, like, oh, no. The, the, Damn you, Kyle. You made me look it up. Now I lost like, my like, Maybe, maybe, Maybe they just saw it and they were, like, hungry. I'm like, I'm going to eat that, but I'm going to chew it first until it's it's able to be swallowed. And it just never happened. You know? Like, uh, yeah, because it's gum. And he just kept chewing. And some say he's still chewing to this day. Okay, so the Mayans and Aztecs were the first to use a, a gum substance. It was a natural tree gum. Um, they also used it to form sticks and other stuff together. Oh, and yeah. um, chewing gum was also used in ancient Greece. Hmm. That was a, it. Was it what did they have back then? Bubblicious? <laughs> Double bubble? <laughs> yeah. So was it a, a adhesive first, and then they chewed it, or did they chew it then use it, was, it as adhesive? It both, both. Yeah, it's, they chewed it to get the to yeah. get the adhesive. That's right. Yeah, True. two part. We've process. all been there. Yeah, yeah. that's I mean, how you yeah. get the stick. You know. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, we all know what I was doing there. That's yeah. the best. Yeah. That's the best. <laughs> <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> Put in the, the girl's hair? <laughs> no, up into the desk. Ah. You're short. <laughs> <laughs> Underneath the desk. <laughs> okay. Here's something I want to throw by you guys. Okay. All right. Cool. I would like to start a new segment. All right. Show, show, Every throw week. this segment at. It's called, I would like to either, let, let's workshop this name. It could be like, it's weird news, okay? I'm looking through the internet trying to find some weird news mm. that I think you guys would like to hear about. Mm -hmm. What's a good name for it? Uh, getting headlines. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> See, getting headlines sounds like two things. Uh -huh. <laughs> Tell me more. What does that mean, Jack? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you look it up. You ask, or you just ask your pops. Mm -hmm. He'll tell you. <laughs> Weird times. I don't know. Uh, I don't know. Weird news. <laughs> Odd oddities. Ooh. Mm -hmm. Ugh. Mm. Doesn't roll off the tongue well. Not as good as getting headlines. <laughs> <laughs> getting some headlines. Get, get, getting some headlines. Kyle's corner of curious curiosities. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Kyle's curious cases concurred. Con con <laughs> <laughs> I feel like I feel like it needs to have like seven or eight because exactly yeah. that's yeah. what I was trying to go for. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Okay. I think we're on the good, going on the right path. What you feeling? Uh, yeah, I like the uh, the case uh, quadruple C's. Yeah, I was uh, I was digging that. <laughs> so let's narrow that down then. What were you saying, Jack? Kyle's curious cases. Kyle's curious cases. Of Kuwait. I don't know. No, I don't know. <laughs> Kyle's, lost me at Kuwait. Kyle's current curiosities. Yeah, what was the rest In of confounding it? cases. Ooh, yeah, yeah, confounding. Oh, yeah. That's Kyle's current curiosities and confounding cases. Yeah, that sounds good. Yeah. I concur. Ooh, yeah. From around the world. <laughs> <laughs> All around. <laughs> All right, Connor. We need you to say that whole thing again. Because <laughs> he's going to soundbite it now. Okay, so Kyle's confounding cases and... What was it? Something curiosities? I'm curious case. Kyle's... Kyle's current curiosities. No, Kyle's, Kyle's current <laughs> cases in confounding curiosities. 
Yeah. <laughs> what the <laughs> fuck did I just say, man? <laughs> Dude, Kyle's confounding cases and confusing curiosities. <laughs> Confounding curiosities of Kyle and cases of curiosities. <laughs> Curious Kyle confounds and Kyle. <laughs> We definitely know Kyle and Curiosities is in there. Oh, my God. <laughs> okay, so we got Curious Kyle. Curiosity. <laughs> Curious <laughs> Kyle. Confused Kyle. Curious Cases. <laughs> okay, Curious Kyle confounds. Can we call you Kite Kyle so we can have one extra K in there? <laughs> And I'm saying kites <laughs> with a T. <laughs> the one you fly. Okay, okay. Father, what'd you got? I don't remember, dude. Like <laughs> Kyle's <laughs> Kyle's confounding cases in curious No, that's wrong. We we, we know that's not the right one. Uh, <laughs> Kyle's confounding curiosities and curious cases. Or Kyle's Confused. <laughs> we said too much. We said too much. It's all because of noise at this Kyle's point. Kyle's confounding curiosities. Kyle's curious cases Case. and confounding concoctions. Confounding Con- curiosities. That's what it was. <laughs> we say. You feel like we're saying curious. Like <laughs> yeah. Okay. We're done. It's over. <laughs> So what was it then? <laughs> I don't know, man. <laughs> Unless we play the tape, that'd be easier than trying to figure Kyle's this out. Kyle's curmudgeon. And- <laughs> Kyle, you said you had something weird you okay. want to talk about. <laughs> so Kyle's curious cases and confounded curiosities. <laughs> oh, Kyle's curious cases and confounded curiosities. Something like that. <laughs> We'll find out later. I don't, yeah, I don't know. I tried to do it for the you. The next episode, we'll f- we might have it figured out. We might not. I liked it. But yeah, all right. That was fantastic. That works. <laughs> <laughs> we got we got our time out of just trying to figure out the name alone. Gosh, <laughs> man. That was insane. Okay. So, I found some stuff out this week. A Baltimore area teacher is accused of using AI to make his boss appear racist. Mm. Oh, I read that headline of that article. I know nothing about it, but I know that is something that someone would try. He's been using AI to make his boss appear racist. Mm-hmm. We're already weaponizing How? AI. Oh, it's been weaponized. How does one do that, though? Specifically, to make one appear racist using AI. The only way you could do that is by creating like a fake profile, send fake messages. Mm-hmm. That's really the only way it can be done. Well, someone used artificial intelligence to do the same thing you were doing with that Trump shit. And oh, they, deep fake technology. Oh, okay. yeah. yeah, they deep fake this guy's voice and to basically say like racist and anti Semitic things about teachers and students. But they've came to the conclusion that it was not his voice and it's been determined that they were AI generated voices. Yep. Hmm. So nice. We need to watch out. Yeah. AI is going to get crazy. AI is going to get to the point where it's like video evidence doesn't mean anything. Yeah. AI created that video evidence. Well, there are, there are ways to tell if something has been edited. Yeah, for sure. For now. Yeah. Until AI takes that away. Hmm. I don't know. I'm, I'm, all, I'm all for AI. Bring yeah. on the AI. Bring on the Give world the machines, power. yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That's the final word from Jackson before AI kills him. <laughs> now, I don't know if you guys have heard about all these crazy cicadas that are supposed to be... Brooding it up. Brooding it up at the same time. Yeah. But uh, people in South Carolina right now <clears throat> have been calling the cops, saying that they're hearing crazy sirens and very loud noises. Trying to report these things to the cops. What do you think the cops are going to do about this? 
Shoot them with the nine millimeter pistols. Yeah. You think they got enough bullets? Well, I they, know they got trillions. <laughs> yes. I know that they're definitely like within a couple of weeks of hatching because, like, uh, like right now they're just waiting for the ground temperature to get to like sixty something degrees, and right now it's like in the upper fifties. Uh, hmm. So they're just waiting for the ground temperature to get just a little bit more. They've already somewhat like in their larva state have pushed the little cap to come out of the mud or ground, whatever. They've already pushed that out and just pulled it back in because they realized, oh, it's not just time yet. So they're waiting. Well, supposedly in South Carolina, they're already out, dude. And people are reporting them because they hear like a loud roar and it's scaring people. Dang, that's wild. Man, boring company needs to start making some more flamethrowers, bro. Yeah. That's the only way we can combat them. Flamethrowers, yeah. effective. Or we just surrender and give the cicadas the world, you know? And we'll just we'll start living underground and we'll do the, the seven-year cycle. Mm -hmm. I don't want to do that. Options. You don't? Yeah, I don't want to go underground. It's a lot of work. Imagine drones with cages that are electrified, okay? Mm, yeah. So... We're flying the drones. We're getting top pilots in there, mm -hmm. and they're just flying right through. About. Just we're just all day. We're just, <laughs> just <laughs> yeah. bug zapper central. Yeah. Yeah. Or the other plan, jets with giant bug net equipment oh, yeah. that they can then just fly right through. I think there'd be a couple problems with that. Oh yeah. I, I don't think the bugs would be flying <coughs> high enough. Oh. And I don't think the jets would be flying low enough to get okay. to them, so. Another plan. A <laughs> old time ship that we convert into a airship, uh. we use the sail as like a solar sail. And then from there we also have like a back net, an electrified back net that's like everything that's back there. Just psh, 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 psh. I got you. But also the solar sail is also electrified. Nice. That's that's a good one. That's the one I want to go with. It's Joe Gordon that's, love it, but just, yes, <laughs> <laughs> just big bug nets. Just what you're doing. Yeah, just big bug zappers. Re big zappers. Yeah, repurposed uh, fishing nets. So, you know, keep oh, it yeah. keep it on theme, and then we just electrify those with. Mm -hmm. uh, I do love the stuff. idea. Of just, <laughs> I do love the idea of just like <clears throat> creating like a game show out of it. Be like, all right, we got four drones and bug zappers or whatever. And here's all the cicadas. Like, who kills the most cicadas wins. Mm -hmm. It's unethical because you're well, killing animals on live TV for fun. Uh, but, hey, man, sometimes a culling is needed. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe we are overthinking it. Maybe just a simple, like, just giant rods throughout the town that mm -hmm. are just giant bug zappers. Maybe that would do it. Because yeah. if they're going to be in the town just periodically every, like... 20 feet, there's just like a telephone pole that's like converted into a bug zapper. Yeah. That'd probably be easier. Dude, I watched the other day some uh, dude like, ah, man, I think it was termites or ants. I don't know. I can't remember. He had, he had one of the two, but they were all over his fucking garage floor. And he was like, check this out. You open up the garage door and like release sunlight into the room. All of them immediately just started going for the, like the sun. And then he closes the garage door and then all of a sudden he gets an evil look on his face he pulls out a fucking bug zapper and then puts a huge high definition light on it so all the bugs just start coming directly towards this bug zapper and he was just like death death shall read <laughs> <laughs> it's just funny video because it started out as like instructional or informational but then takes a real dark twist <laughs> Well, you're talking about genocide at that point. Yeah, yeah, but for termites and ants. Yeah. And no one gives a fuck. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> no one gives a shit about termites and ants. Yeah. Other termites and ants do. Yeah. <laughs> well, here's something that we all care about <clears throat> that I know hits home for us. <laughs> you guys heard about Milan? Yeah. You guys heard about what they're trying to do in Milan? Were they, were, were uh -huh. they trying, to, they're trying to do something in Milan now? Transgender? No. Worse. What's... Um, okay. They're trying to ban ice cream after midnight. The fuck is going on now, Kyle? I thought you were talking about the movie Milan. Yeah. That's what Milan. I was talking about. I was like, <laughs> Milan. Yeah, Milan. Yeah. yeah, the city, Milan. 
Oh, not the Mul- not the movie or the character Mulan. 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 <laughs> not Mulan. Not Mulan. Not Mulan. Not Mulan. Not Mulan. <laughs> not Mulan Rouge. So is it all ice cream or Mulan. just Mulan? <sighs> Dairy. What about trying to curb all the late night stuff going on. I got gotcha. you. Yeah. It starts with ice cream. Yeah. Where does it end? <laughs> Looks like they're also Dead trying to the make gutter. pizza <laughs> as well after midnight. So no pizza, no ice cream anymore? Yep. What, what are they going to do with themselves? Oh, to curb obesity is what they're trying to do. Oh, yeah. That's fair. If it's only after midnight, that's when the pounds really start hitting when you eat those foods after midnight. Mm-hmm. For a lot of people, that's what they like to do at night is go hit up that gelato. Yeah. That gelato, yeah. Mm-hmm. Poor guys. Nobody's going to tell me how to eat my pizza or, or my, ice cream. Yeah. It, it, whenever, you know. Yeah. 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 <laughs> how, the fuck they, how do you just ban ice cream and pizza after midnight? I think just what's, selling what, it. what's going on yeah. in the city of Milan where it's like, this is a problem. You know? Yeah. <laughs> this is a problem that needs to be addressed. How, how many late night pizza and ice cream parlors do they have there? We got too many <laughs> fucking car wrecks happening in the parking lots of pizza joints and ice cream parlors yeah. between the hours of 12 and 2 a.m. <laughs> You're right. People rushing to get to their fucking gelatos. Yeah. I told you, you it affected you guys. You know what? Mm. I, I'm happy that they banned it now over in Milan, you know? You're saving lives at that point. Mm-hmm, saving mm-hmm. lives. Saving some pounds at least. Yeah, for sure. Absolutely. Good for them. I'm on board with it. <laughs> Yeah. Or stones, as they might say, across the pond. Across the pond. <laughs> <laughs> Where are they from again? Milan? Is that across the pond? Or is that... I would say from us, at least. Yeah. Okay. What country is that? Italy. Oh, okay. Okay. They're trying to curb the stop, the uh, partying at night, man. And yeah. It starts, with, it starts with ice cream. Yeah. That's where you should That's always start. That's where the party starts. <laughs> yeah. For us, at least, yeah. right? Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. Tending in there. But it, starts, it starts there. <laughs> it starts there. I need to go to Milan, first hand account, and figure out what's going on and why they have to ban pizza and ice cream yeah. after midnight. I feel you, dog. I'm going to try to see if I can get it after midnight. I'm going to be walking through alleys, be like, you know what, I can get some pizza, man. Yeah. <laughs> you know what, I get some pizza, man. Yeah. <laughs> some pizza. <laughs> It's, uh, it's it, it, <laughs> pizza gelato. I'm looking for. <laughs> it's probably just big ice cream, uh, uh, making uh, making people just think about ice cream to make them buy more ice cream. You know, mm-hmm. besides being at between twelve. It's and always midnight. more horseshit from yeah. the big or ice cream companies yeah. out there. Yeah. Mm-hmm. All they're gonna do is they're just gonna see a surge of people at eleven fifty trying yeah. to get all their pizza and their ice cream before twelve o'clock hits. Yeah. You know, jack the prices way up. Mm-hmm. You know, yeah, four hundred percent. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Yeah, at least, at least. <laughs> but you know those partyos, they'll pay it. Yeah, mm-hmm. they will. I, I want to go over there and buy some uh, pizza and ice cream at 11.59, you know, just to eat it after midnight. Mm-hmm. And the politicians will just let this happen because yeah. they're in the pockets of big ice cream and big pizza. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not on board with this anymore. I retract what I said earlier. <laughs> mm. Big pizza sounds pretty good. Yeah. <laughs> There's a reason. Can we get Big Cookie in on this? <laughs> There's a reason why they're charging you $12 for that pizza when it only costs $2 to make. Uh, Trying to compare it to pharmaceutical companies. <laughs> now, here's a uh, record that even you could beat, Jackson. Yeah. yeah. A Ghana man studying forestry in Alabama set a world record for most trees hugged in an hour when he hugged 1,123 trees at the Tuskegee National Forest. And I can break that record, you say? Probably. Can you tell me where? Where, we have where a can lot of I break it? around us. Yeah, but I think... Uh, and, okay, how many trees in an hour? 1,123. That's a lot of trees. 1,123. Trying to probably hugging a lot of small trees, many, I would imagine. Yeah. Does that have to be a two two arm hug, or can it be like a I got you with the one arm? How many? Yeah. How many trees do you have to hug per minute? To, <laughs> Grab to, like ten trees, bang. Yeah. Well, it says here no tree could be hugged more than once, requiring you to move tree to tree. Um, let's see here. 
And it's just it's just tugging. You don't have to do anything else with the trees, like take a bat or anything like that. I hope that guy got laid after setting that record. Like, you know what I just did, ladies? <laughs> just set the record for the tree most hugging. tree hugs. So he had he averaged nineteen trees per minute. Wow. Um he surpassed the minimum requirement of seven hundred trees to establish the record, and I guess he just kept going. <laughs> he just got in the groove. He was um, let's see here. Yeah, it doesn't say it, it, what size trees they had to be. Yeah. Because, yeah, the picture here shows him hugging a really small tree, and then the next one's a big tree. Yeah, trees are all it, sizes. He looks like he's having a good time. I, I, don't, I don't know if it was a stipulation or not, but he Let didn't. Let me see his face one more time. He didn't drink water the whole time. You said he it looked like he was having time? a good time. Well, if you're trying he to set a record... He looks fucking miserable there. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. He does. <laughs> that must have been like his 800th tree at the time. Yeah. It looks like someone said, you're going to break this record, I'm going to kill you. <laughs> and your family. No water either. <laughs> his arms yeah. are just raw from the bark. <laughs> someone told him, like, if you don't do this, the happening will happen. <laughs> Please, they, they need their hugs, man. The, the, yeah. tre the trees have his wife and kids. <laughs> the trees are depressed, man. Uh, and that is the last curiosity that Kyle had today. It was fantastic. Mm -hmm. it was. You guys want to go ahead and uh, move into Yo Do? Check this out. Yeah, yeah sounds do. good. Yo Do. Hey, yo, what's up? Check this out. Yo Do. <laughs> Yo, dude, check this out. There's a species of a lizard that removes Lyme disease from ticks. Like, it's got a protein in the lizard's blood, and it kills the bacterium in the tick's gut that's responsible for the disease. The lizard is called the Western Fence Lizard, and uh, they're one of the main reasons why you find almost no Lyme disease west of the Rocky Mountains. We need more of them lizards. We need, yeah, we need to get them lizards here for a couple reasons. One, I like lizards. Every time I see a lizard, it brightens my day. Mm -hmm. And we're east yeah. of the Rockies. Yeah, and we are east of the Rockies where Lyme disease is prevalent. <laughs> <laughs> Lyme disease reigns over <laughs> east of the Rockies. But mostly Jackson likes lizards. But I really want lizards, man. <laughs> I'm I'm mainly I'm just I'm all for cute infestations, man. You know, oh, yeah. well, I like Mitch invasive. Hedberg was Mitch Hedberg was 100 percent right. Why do koalas got to be so far away from me? Why can't they be infested the forests of this area? You know, mm -hmm. I would love to go play disc golf halfway through. Be like, you know what? Chill with the koalas for a second. Mm. That's yeah. the that's the America I want to live in. Mm -hmm. The dream. Together. Also, <laughs> why does America have to have the ugliest opossum around, man? We've literally got the ugliest opossum, and then you look everywhere else in the world, cutest little sons of bitches what? you've ever seen. Really? Yeah. Look up in an Australian opossum right now. You know. No. Yes. Do, <laughs> do it right now. All right, Australia. Okay. It's, ho it's home to like 20 of the deadliest things in the world, but it's got the cutest opossum. Oh, my God. Why is that so adorable? Hey, look at that thing. Oh. <laughs> right. See? That thing. Look at that thing. It doesn't even look like a possum. What the fuck is that little thing? <laughs> See? All the three thing. of you have ovaries now because you just saw that. <laughs> Man. Yo, do you check out this Australian opossum? Yeah. Just uh, just for reference, there's there's the American one. Vicious. <laughs> <laughs> That's America. Just, yeah. If I'm being honest, honest children uh, all over them, just crawling all over them like some sort of parasite. If I'm being honest, though, I have like softened my stance on like wild American possums. Like lately, I'm like, yo, these fucking aw they're awesome. I was driving to work and I saw one cross the road. And then it just kept running down the street like it was like it was just going home from its shift. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Just trotting along. Mm-hmm. 
Uh, you gotta do check this out. Tom Bahali, pass rusher for the Chiefs, a long time ago, just got inducted into the Chiefs Hall of Fame. Hell yeah! Sweet. Yeah. He deserves it, man. Yeah. He was there with us through the hard times. Mm-hmm. He's got an interesting story as well. Very cool. Uh, yo, dude, check this out. So, you guys know who uh, Lionel Messi? You know who he is? Yeah. Soccer, famous soccer player. Okay, yeah. Um, his home city of Rosario uh, in Argentina, they have made it to where you cannot name your kid Messi. They've banned the name. That's wow. crazy. Damn. That's like retiring like, a jersey number to a whole new whole new thing, man. It's like, yo, you can't name your kid this anymore. Mm-hmm. Why? Because the greatest person that's already had that name has it now. Mm-hmm. That we don't want every kid named this name, probably. See, beforehand, we only did that for names that like we unanimously said, like, all right, it's time to wipe this monster off the face of the earth. No one's using the name Hitler anymore. Yeah. Oh, yeah. You don't see many Mussolinis running around. Yeah. 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 Really, really, I don't see any Adolfs, you know. Like, yeah. You know, yeah. <laughs> you yeah. don't see yeah. very many Genghises running around. No, that's true uh-huh. as well. Genghis, yeah. eat your vegetables. You don't see any yeah. General Zods running around either, you know. There's not like, very many General Zods. There needs to be a little bit more, though. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, some Lex Luthers, you yeah. know. Not very many Brainiacs. Yeah. <laughs> not enough <laughs> you used to see back in the not day. Enough, at least. Yeah. 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 Not a lot of Jeffrey Dahmers out there anymore. Oh, yeah. Yeah, a lot of Ted's, but but no Ted Bundy's. Yeah, one too many Jared Leto's, I would argue. Y- yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> one too many <laughs> Jared Leto's. <laughs> Jared Leto, Adolf Hitler, we get it. <laughs> no one out there is ever naming their kid Jared ever again. Yeah, nobody. And you no. might think it might have to be because of Subway, Jared. Nope. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> <sighs> God, there's yeah, one. Dude, there's you're you're gonna be going back through like the South Park episodes again at some point. There's one episode where they're like, <laughs> it's in one of the newer seasons, but they're sending a whole group of people to these guys that are like P, they call them like PC principals, or whatever. So they're politically correct, but they're all frat dudes. So they keep sending <laughs> oh, all the yeah. Ink, the politically incorrect stuff at them. Like, they send them, like, send the Mexican mothers at them, and they send, like, 60, like, Mexican pregnant women <laughs> over at them. But then the last one they release is, release the Jared! And it's Jared, and he's like, hey. <laughs> 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 He's got, like, raptors, like, he's like, hey. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> uh... Uh, no, uh, I don't have that one. Uh, Fallout 76, is that the multiplayer yeah. uh, one? Yeah. Um, yeah. I played it when it first came out. It was absolute garbage, but a uh, buddy of mine, uh, uh, one, of, one of the other store managers, he was telling me that uh, that there's a lot of, lot, just like 100% improvements since uh, since first release, so I'm going to try to get back into that. Um, but yeah, I mean, uh, 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 I, did, I was trying to find out Amber Heard's new name because... Uh, she changed her name, you know, and she's in a different continent. And uh, you know, I never forget. Uh, so you know, we need to get her new name out there if we can, if we can find it. If she hasn't uh, uh, completely uh, hidden that from the world, but yeah, never forget. Wow. Yeah, I mean, but yeah, you got to change your name and change your country once, uh, once uh, you know, you shit on somebody, you know, Johnny Depp's bed, you know, allegedly. <laughs> oh yeah, allegedly hearsay. <laughs> hey, Amber, Amber, the boy, live with me. Yeah, love. I dog. think I think it was the dog. Yeah. <laughs> He loved Aquaman 1 and 2. Loved it. <laughs> <laughs> it's garagely. <laughs> All right. Well, uh, that's been episode 135. Cool. Nice. Any words we of finished. wisdom? We got it. Um, uh, don't date Amber Heard if mm. you can help it. If you can help it, well, I understand. She is not, insane. She's not Amber Heard anymore. Just go uh, straight to marriage is what you're saying. Amber <laughs> Garagely. <laughs> <laughs> what if you can't help it? Like, what are what are some what are some pro tips? Bro, uh, uh, do what the Bible says. Gouge out your eyes. <laughs> <laughs> Fair enough. Okay. Cool. Fair enough. If you cannot avert your eyes, then you shall pluck them out. Yeah. I don't know the verse, but it's yeah. in the Bible. It's, you sound more like Gandalf. I don't think Gandalf ever said that. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. 
I like the Ark of the Covenant when you look at that and then oh. you die. Mm. Yeah, and like yeah. your like skin melts off yeah. your skeleton. And Give me one of those, please. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, that's exactly what I. I yeah. yeah, yeah. It's crazy that that's all, that's all they had to do is just not look at it. <laughs> yeah, it's that simple. But I mean, you want to look at it. And you got to look. <laughs> yeah, I mean, we looked at it. But granted, we weren't in the movie, but like we we saw it. Saw so. the effects. Yeah. yeah. So you know, I, I'd probably look at it in real life too. Mm-hmm. Yeah. How long do you think it will be until they decide to completely remake the Indiana Jones movies? Two years. <laughs> With AI. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know. I'd say it's more likely that they do like a video game remix of them. Mm. Considering that new video game looks really good and promising. I can see that maybe they just go back to the movies and do like expanded movies or something. Yeah. You can see that. That would be dope. I'd love to do it. A Temple of Doom game, man. Yeah. That would be fucking awesome. Temple of Doom would be so fucking sweet. <clears throat> Kali Ma. That, that new game, man, uh, was it The Great Circle or something? That looks really good, man. That's probably going to be one of my top games this year. Yeah. It comes out. Let's hope it good. comes out this year. I think it's supposed to. But yeah, you never know. Huh. Never know. Love <laughs> the whip. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Indy. <laughs> Sounds like cookies. It's, they're spiders. <laughs> they're bugs. Yeah, I still think about the freaking monkey brain scene all the time. Uh, mm-hmm. yeah. Temple of Doom. Yep. I was yep. like, I'm sending mine back. It's retarded. Yeah. <laughs> 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 oh, man. Right on. Well, have a good one, fellas. Bye. 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 Crashing with friends. Podcast.